want to determine the area of this L-shaped polygon, there's a couple of ways of doing this, but I think what we should do is divide this into two rectangles, determine the area of each rectangle, and then determine the sum of the areas. So we can divide this into two rectangles by dividing it here or dividing it here. I think I'll go ahead and just divide it here. So we'll determine the area of this region, let's call it region 1, and then we'll determine the area of this region, we'll call it region 2. The area formula for a rectangle is area equals length times width. So for this small area, we'll call it area sub 1, we need to determine the product of 2.8 centimeters and 3.6 centimeters. But notice if we look at the large rectangle, we're missing the length of this side here. But we can use the fact that the length of this side here is 8.7 centimeters, and the length of this side here is 3.6 centimeters. The length of the missing side, plus 3.6, must equal 8.7 centimeters, which means we can determine the length of this side here by taking 8.7 centimeters and subtracting 3.6 centimeters. So let's go ahead and do that. 8.7 minus 3.6. We'll have 1 and 5. So the length of this side here is 5.1 centimeters which means the area of region 2 can be found by determining the product of 10.7 centimeters and 5.1 centimeters. Now we'll determine these two products then determine the sum of the two areas. So we have 2.8 times 3.6. Remember since this decimal has one decimal place and this has one as well, the product must contain two decimal places. We'll start by multiplying by 6. 6 times 8 would be 48. Carry a 4. 6 times 2 plus 4, that would be 12 plus 4, it's 16. Now we'll multiply by 3, making sure the first digit goes in the second column. So 3 times 8 is 24. Carry the 2. 3 times 2 plus 2, that would be 8. So we have 8, 0, carry the 1, and 10. So right now the decimal point would be here, but we have to move it to the left two places. 1, 2. So area 1, let's go ahead and write this over here. Area 1 is equal to 10.08, and the units would be centimeters squared. Now let's go ahead and determine the product of 10.7 and 5.1. We have one decimal place here and one decimal place here, so our product must contain two decimal places. Now we'll multiply by one first, so we'll have seven, zero, one, and now we'll multiply by five, making sure the first digit is in the second column. So five times seven is 35, we carry a three. Five times zero is zero, plus three, so we have three, and then five times one is five. So we have 7, 5, 4, and 5. So if we move the decimal place to the left two places, we have 54.57 for area 2. But our goal is to determine the area of this entire L-shaped polygon, so we need to determine the sum of these two. So we have 10.08 plus 54.57. So 15, carry the 1, this would be 6. Make sure we bring down the decimal. We have 4 and 6. So the area of this L-shaped polygon is equal to 64.65 square centimeters. This represents the number of square centimeters that would fit inside this L-shaped polygon.